Well, it's something you don't dream of when you first step on the track. You just go to work every day and try and do the right things, at least I did. And you look up after 15, 16, 17 years and you, you've won some races and all of a sudden you're getting considered and it's just quite an honor. His childhood passion would take him places he could never dream. Dreams captured in his autobiography, Against the Odds, Riding for My Life. A jockey's life is defined by numbers, number of mounts, over 30,800 number of wins, almost 5,900 total purse money earned, more than $295 million. But the great ones, the legends, the Hall of Famers do it in racing's greatest events. On the Sport of Kings Championship Day, the Breeders' Cup World Thoroughbred Championships, nobody ever did it better than Jerry Bailey. He leads in all-time Breeders' Cup victories with 15 and earnings of just over $22 million. In the biggest and richest of all the Breeders' Cup races, the Breeders' Cup Classic, no one dominated like Jerry Bailey. His 2005 Classic win on St. Liam was his fifth. And they head for home in the Classic. Here's St. Liam, exhorted to the lead by Jerry Bailey. They're in front with one for long to go. Flower Alley fighting him stubbornly all the way. A pitch battle with the 16th to go. On the outside, Perfect Drift Swab. They're coming down to the line. And St. Liam has won the 22nd Breeders' Cup Classic. His domination of the Breeders' Cup Classic began in 1991 with Black Tie Affair. In 1993, the improbable 133 to 1 long shot from France, Arcon, started a string of three consecutive Breeders' Cup Classic victories. In 1994, Bailey wrote Concern. Then in 1995, it was Cigar. In the American Racing Classic Series, the Triple Crown, Jerry Bailey's resume includes six classic victories. Jerry would win his first in 1993 on 13 to 1 Sea Hero for legendary owner 85 year old Paul Mellon and Hall of Fame trainer Mac Miller, age 71. And here comes Sea Hero charging through on the inside with Jerry Bailey. And down the stretch they come. Sea Hero on the inside up to take the lead. From between horses, that's personal hope. On the far outside, Prairie Bayou is flying. And Wild Gale is right there. But with 70 yards to go, it's Sea Hero. And Matt Miller gets his Kentucky Derby. In the 1996 run for the Roses, Bailey showed his championship form flying on the outside on Grindstone to challenge Cavanier on the rail. Grindstone is closing stoutly. It's Cavanier on the inside and Grindstone on the outside. McCarran and Bailey, here's the finish. Again, too tight to call. Was it Cavanier on the inside? Was it Bailey with Grindstone on the outside? Noses apart after a mile and a quarter in the Kentucky Derby. The photo showed Grindstone and Jerry Bailey winning the 122nd Kentucky Derby by a nose. Jerry would also win two Preakness stakes. 1991 on Hensel, his first Triple Crown victory. He won the Black Eyed Susans again in 2000 on Red Bullet. His two Belmont victories were Hensel in 1991 and in 2003 on Empire Maker. In just over three decades of race riding, Jerry Bailey set new standards in the sport. In 2001, with this win on half at Keeneland in the Shadwell Turf Mile, he became the first jockey to ever go over the $20 million mark in a single season. In 2003, he shattered his own North American purse earnings record by totaling $23,354,960 in one year. 2004 saw Jerry set a new standard at Saratoga breaking Angel Cordero's all-time win record at the spa. I've been blessed to ride some very, very good horses and uh, be with some very, very good trainers and owners. And 
And it's, just, it's been like a magic carpet ride for me through this whole thing. I mean, there's been some injuries, but overall, it's just been a wonderful experience.